Oh, for sale now Vehicle Max, we have a beautiful 2012 Mercedes C250. Alpine wine on the outside with black leather interior. Completely loaded up with factory navigation, factory backup camera, factory panoramic moonroof, um, memory seats, power tilt wheel, heated seats, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website, VehicleMax.net. has 19-inch staggered HRE wheels, performance wheels. The measurement in the front is uh, 235, 35, 19, and in the rear, they're staggered, and the measurement back here is 265, 30, 19. As you can see, there's more space here in the lid, but I mean by staggered, it's wider here than it is up in the front. So blue efficiency, cars, all original paint, Again, clean title, clean Carfax, no dings, no dings, no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind. And completely loaded up. This is not a base car. Well over $42,000, $43,000 in this unit brand new. <clears throat> so it's still in the full factory warranty, bumper to bumper. Again, it's only uh, 12,000 miles. And completely loaded up. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 9 to 5, and always closed on Sundays. <clears throat> we have been in the car business since 1992 and sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check it out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, go inside the vehicle and get it started. It has a cross-drilled uh, discs in the front. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, get it opened up here. Okay. Door panels are charcoal black with a wood trimming. Has the uh, Harbin Carden stereo sound system. Okay, power trunk. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power tilt wheel, I should say. Power seats. And uh, memory for uh, up to three drivers. Okay. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area so you can see it's in spotless condition. No burn holes, no cuts, no tears. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so definitely the previous owner was a non-smoker. Got uh, lumbar support also down here. Power tilt wheel here, and I'll demonstrate that once I sit down. Let's go ahead and get it started. <clears throat> Door so you can hear me talk a little better. Put the radio down. The AC, that's good right there. Let's put the navigation screen on. It's activating right now. There we go, there's your navigation screen. And we've got the panoramic moonroof. And let me give you a look at that. This is the front and there in the rear. So you can see everybody gets to look at the top there. And it's got also a shade. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's put on the shade. Oops, no, let's still open it. Let's do the shade first. And this is so you can block out the sun. That's what it looks like when it's closed. Let's open the shades now. They retract towards the middle. And now let's open the moonroof. The front section moves, the rear section does not. We'll leave it open for the video. Excuse me. Okay. Um, okay. Rear camera. Let's put the vehicle in reverse so you can see how the rear camera comes on. Put it back in reverse here. Pull it toward me. And there's your color backup camera. It's actually very accurate, very uh, very clean look. You can see the car. It's a little hard to see it on the camera itself, but when you see it in person, it's a very sharp look. It's not a, it's not hazy at all. This vehicle does have the uh, manual shifting mode, neutral drive. And that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time, but it's got the uh, tap shifting mode where you can tap up 
or down to shift. I mean, this is the this is drop shift. I'll show you what it looks like on the screen better. Be easier if you see it as I do it. Okay, right there now we're in neutral. I'm gonna put it in drive, and that's how you're gonna drive it 99% of the time. But when you shift to one more notch down, and you tap to uh, sorry, you tap to the right, you'll see um, okay, you see the plus come on. We're in first gear there. If I tap to the right, it shifts up. Okay, all the way to a six-speed automatic transmission. Okay, and to shift down, you just do the opposite. Tap the other way. Okay, let's go ahead and put it back in park. Okay, um, car is 12,000 miles. So let me see how to show that really quick up here. Where's the button for that? Well, while you look for that, let me go ahead and I'll show you. Tell it's got Bluetooth, and uh, you could uh, actually make your call right there, and you answer and pick up the phone right here on this side of the steering wheel, and you got voice command as well. Okay, you can navigate through your onboard computer over here. And the center console here, where you rest your elbow, has uh, the cables from factory that pop out. It's your iPod interface. You have the, the regular input, which is a circular one, and the one that goes right in the back of the iPod or your iPhone. And then down here, it's a little hard to see, it's your USB port. Okay. So, uh, technology up to date. Uh, cup holders here in the center. You get your little wheel here to control everything. Uh, also there, it shows you the, um, the, uh, uh, the current time as well as the outside temperature and through the right of the D, you see that E there? That's our compass, lets us know that we're pointing or heading in the east direction, okay? Let's do the power tilt wheel. It's this knob down here. I'm gonna try to see, I'm gonna back up so you can see it tilt up and down first, okay? And then now I'm gonna get it from the side here so you can see it moving toward me. And now push it in. Okay. All right. Um, power windows are all one touch. Just means uh, press it once, and that's it. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go up or down. And they're all the same way. Uh, you got your power mirrors over here. Automatic headlights. Okay. Wood fog lamps as well. Okay. So let's put them on. Put them on for a second there. And there are fog lamps. Come on. You can see it squeeze through here. Right there, fog lamps are the yellow ones. I turn it off, and the headlights. They're on right now because uh, it's an automatic, but I could turn them off if I want. I just leave them on, it's no big deal. Car's running right now. I'm gonna rev the engine, keep an eye on the right hand dial. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see the car's running and idling perfectly, and that there are no check engine lights, no airbag lights, no service engine due, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only light that's on is there's a green little light down there. It's the uh, daytime running lights, the headlights that are on. And down there is the seatbelt uh, sign because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. Pan over the dashboard now here. <clears throat> and uh, we'll show you, uh, just to show you that you, you, there's no cuts or cracks or tears, no burn holes, nothing like that. Everything is perfect, brand new condition. Uh, I got the mileage to pop up. All I had to do was press this little button here. And uh, the mileage it has 12,427 miles, still under the full factory warranty. I believe it's 450 bumper to bumper on this unit. Uh, we've got dual climate control. What I mean by that is, uh, you see this little wheel on the left here. This controls the left side of the vehicle. The little wheel on the right for the passenger side. So I can easily, let's say, put this one here at 70 degrees, and the driver's side still stays at 60. So we can have a uh, the AC that blows on this side of the vehicle is going to be a hair warmer than this side. So in, you know, in case you got a you know, different levels of comfort, you know, for like your wife, maybe she doesn't like it as cold as you do or vice versa. Um, okay, get your main glove box over here and get the gigantic owner manual here, still with all the supplemental booklets that you need there, right from factory. I mean, this is like buying a brand new unit, except saving thousands on a loaded up unit, not a base unit. Down here below the mirror, by the way, this is an auto dimming rear view mirror, which means if somebody puts the high beams on you, it darkens the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Down here is what we call the your home link or universal garage door opener. You can program up to three gates or three um, three garage doors, okay? Uh, you have vanity mirrors up here with lighting. When you open the little door here, 
the light comes on. And you get a little uh, flip, a uh, little bracket there to hold like business cards. Same thing on the driver's side. Map lights up here. Okay, that's here we go. <laughs> Sorry. And um, uh, what else? Uh, Pan over the passenger seating area here so you can see that it's in perfect shape. Again, the car is spotless, 2012 with only 12,000 miles and completely loaded up. Uh, well, curtain side airbags also, right up here in this post. And I think we're ready to move on to the rear. Uh, very sharp looking steering wheel, it's like it's like ground, but it's like kind of like flat down here. Got um, uh, it's like solid on the sides here and perforated here. It's just a sharp little uh, sport look on it. Pan around it now so you can see it's in spotless shape. Once again, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142. Is your zip code open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always closed on Sundays. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. So you operate the Bluetooth here also. Let's go and put on the stereo. Oh, I just turned it off. And uh, let's find a station here. Actually, I think it's already playing music. Maybe we can find out. Uh, You can raise and lower the volume here. Oh, I hadn't played with the radio in this unit. It's, it really sounds great. It sounds like a, you get like a discotheque type feeling, you know, like a click, club. Click. Ain't nobody like, fresher than my mom, mom. Click, click, Sounds really good. Click, you can mute it here, click. by the way. Okay. Uh, go ahead and uh, unmute it. And just lower it down. Oh, um, and you know, I was forgetting something. Uh, the heated seats got three different levels of comfort high, medium, low, and of course, there's often. Please, if I've missed something, feel free to call me. I mean, it's a lot of stuff to go over, especially in a short little video. And uh, there's your ashtray. As you can see it's never even been used. You can keep it open like that. Okay. Perfect. And. Um, Go ahead and press on here and it closes. All right, um, I think, oh, by the way, we have also, uh, I was resting my elbow here a little bit ago here when you put your hand, it's blowing cool air here for the rear row passengers. So you got like a, a AC vents for the rear row. Um, I think we're ready to go ahead and turn it off and move on to the back. Okay. As you can see, when I oh, when I pull the key of the ignition, the, the tilt wheel uh, uh, moved up a little bit so it, it make it easier for me to get out. Once you go ahead and stick the key in the ignition, uh, the tilt wheel will go back down to the way you had it set before. And the uh, same thing with the seats and stuff, uh, you just have to set your memory here. You know, whether you're driver one, two, or three. <clears throat> okay. Um, by the way, I, I don't know if I, when I show you the wheels, uh, they're, they're, there's, there's no curb rash whatsoever on them, okay? Uh, whoever had this car took real good care of it. Down here it's just a, it's a little dirty, but but uh, it's in spotless condition. Okay, uh, rear row panel, same way, uh, charcoal black with the wood trimming and the silver accent on the, ha uh, accent on the handle and up here. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How it works is the following. If you lift the switch up here, what it does is that disables this inside door handle. Just in case you get small kids and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside, once you engage that, uh, the only way that handle is gonna open is using the outer handle. To re-engage, just do the opposite. And then this inside handle will start working again. We got also uh, seat side airbags. And airbags over here. So you got here and here. Let me slide the seat all the way, uh, a little bit forward because I had the seat slid all the way back so you can see a little better. We'll do it right, right, right here. And we have also uh, airbags here. Next, see this is where your where your knees will go. You see a steering wheel here, so you got. I guess I'd call them uh, knee airbags. I would say to protect your legs. Okay, and I uh, got the factory floor mats, of course. Uh, anchors for your baby car seat. That means in here there's a little uh, metal uh, bracket that you can tie down your baby car seat. There's two on each side. 
this is a five passenger, two in the front and three in the back and they all have an over the shoulder belt including the middle row passenger which uses this one right here and this is nothing short of spotless back here I mean no baby car indentations, no burn holes let me give you another look at the um, at the panoramic moonroof the front moonroof is open now so that's why it's a little harder to see out of the back one see how the, uh, the front moonroof slides on top of the back but you can actually still see through if you have it like that if you have it um all the way forward then it could be a nice even view for uh, both the front and rear passengers okay uh, tinted windows all around, rear windows are froster all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape they're not damaged or scuffed in any way, they're nice and clear all the chrome trimming is spotless okay right rear tail light perfect shape, there's no um, no dents on the bumpers or anything like that, let's go ahead and pop the trunk by the way this is the camera that we were looking at of before when we put the car in reverse okay the trunk is not per se power it just pops power to close it it's not like uh, like in this 5 or 7 series where you can just press a button here or whatever yeah, here you gotta close it manually okay and uh, get a nice and spacious trunk for a small car down here is your spare and all your tools and everything that you need we even have up here the front license plate holder in case you're from a state that requires um, a plate up in the front. In Florida, we don't need that. Only the rear plate is necessary. Again, no dents, no uh, dings, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touch ups of any kind. The beautiful HRE performance wheels staggered in the rear, you know, uh, with nearly brand new tires. I mean, these, those tires probably don't even have, I don't know, I would say they probably have less than 10,000 miles to so probably get at it afterwards. And again, it's a blue efficiency. Still in the full factory warranty with only 12,000 miles. Navigation, uh, color backup camera, panoramic moonroof, power tilt uh, wheel, and telescopic. Also, it comes, you know, not only tilts up and down, but it also comes toward you. A memory seat, heated seats, Harman Kardon stereo sound system. I mean, this is the, this is the one. Okay, let's talk about financing for just a minute. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates available for good credit and we also have special financing available for not such good credit. We even have some programs for uh, pretty rough credit. If you live a long distance away or you're concerned about the financing or you just want to go ahead and get pre-approved, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, and right on the homepage, you'll see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.